Hello, this is Howard Garrett, The Dirt Doctor, and we have a slideshow for you here that covers one of the most important parts of tree health, and that's the exposure of the flare. This photo review starts with some of the worst examples and ranges into the best examples. Terrible one here, this tree's probably two feet in the ground. Little beds of posies around trees cause them to be too deep in the ground, as uh, does Liriope and Ophiopogon and other ground covers. Mulches can be up on the trunks of the trees, and the flare is actually part of the trunk. That's why it's so important that it be exposed to air. Here's some trees that are showing a little bit of flare. Uh, back to a bad example, gravel piled up above the flare. Many people think that when a little bit of flare like this is showing, that's good enough, but it's not. The flare should be very dramatic above the ground. Here it slopes back in toward the root system. That's a terrible condition. As is this, this tree is too deep in the soil. This one is also too deep in the soil by probably a foot. It happens at the growing operations when the trees are bald and burlapped and moved into the nurseries. And then when they're planted a little bit too low, they get seriously deep in the soil. Mulches are a bad uh, way to pile uh, material up on the tree and cause the flares to be buried. This happens in Houston, Texas, worse than anywhere in the world. Should never be done. But these trees, uh, this is a pine tree. So any tree, any species of tree, magnolia here, can be too deep in the ground. All trees will have flares with the exception of palm trees. And mulch should never be piled up at the base of the tree, even if the flare was exposed before the mulching was done. The mulch will keep the bark moist just like soil against the bark of the tree. And remember that the flare is part of the trunk. It's not part of the root system. Growing operations of all kinds. Ancient trees can be too deep in the ground. They can stay alive but not be very healthy. The work is done professionally with what's called the air spade. You see here and the flare can be exposed, whether it's in ground cover areas or grass areas like you see here. This is pretty good exposure showing those uh, flares going out to connect to the root system. And now some shots of some trees that have uh, the flare exposed properly. These are trees that will be the healthiest. Lace bark, uh, elm here, all sorts of oaks we're showing you. The more of the flare that's showing, the better. Here's one that's been exposed with the air spade showing a good exposure. You can see there that almost three feet of the base of the trunk has been removed, of the soil has been removed to expose the flare. Big red oaks here where over two feet of soil were removed with the air spade. And since this work was done, these trees have flourished compared to what they were doing beforehand. Dramatically big flares uh, have interesting character visually, but they're also very, very healthy uh, conditions for the trees. These are all really good. If you don't like seeing this, you can cover it up, but you're going to be doing damage to your trees. Trident maple, very dramatic wide flare. Crepe myrtles have a very dramatic wide flare like this that uh, grows out into uh, an apron so most crepe myrtles are too deep in the ground. Very large magnolia with a properly exposed flare. And live oaks like these, uh, that looks strange, but it's, very, it's a very, very healthy condition.